The peace of Christ be with you. This is Father Tom from St. Dominic's with our video bulletin for the weekend of Sunday, June 7th. In this bulletin, you will see that among the phases of reopening plans we've come up with um, is a new offering this Sunday, Trinity Sunday, uh, what we're calling a drive-in rooftop mass. Uh, it will be celebrated uh, this Sunday at 1130 in the South Parking Field alongside our Monsignor Collins Sports Center. Uh, we're going to set up a altar on that flat roof, which is visible from the entire field and a sound system. If you wish to participate in Mass in this way, uh, you are asked to uh, wear your mask and remain in your vehicle. And be sure to park your vehicle um, facing the Monsignor Collins Center so you can see the altar. Uh, That's not to say we will also be offering, um, as we have been these past weeks, a live stream Mass, which will begin streaming with the 5 p.m. Mass on Saturday and it will be viewable for all parishioners throughout Sunday whenever they should wish. As of right now, um, as I'm posting this, uh, our bishops have not yet given us permission to uh, offer reception of Holy Communion to attendees. Uh, I believe they are vigorously going over how to do that in the safest possible way. So whether you're watching on television, watching the live stream, or participating in this new drive-in rooftop mass at 11.30 on Sunday, uh, you would be making a spiritual communion again this Sunday. This Ideas like this are the result of good advice I'm getting from our uh, reopening task force, but also uh, we've been blessed to be given young Father Matt, who's very creative, and a new member of our staff, at least temporary for the next couple of weeks, um, Joe Catafago. He's a seminarian of the Diocese of Rockland Center. He's about a year away from priesthood. Um, I mentioned in my bulletin letter this week that it's a great blessing to, for us to receive and to be the witness of these young vocations uh, starting out at priesthood and uh, giving their discerning giving his life in Joe's case in service of us in the future. Um, but it's also a responsibility for us to set a good example, to show him an example of what parish life is like. Certainly St. Dominic's can do that. And even in these challenging times with these creative ideas of how we're addressing the situation, um, that Joe is going to get a good experience even for the couple of weeks this summer. Joe has a letter of introduction in the bulletin uh, for you to read, should you wish. But I also ask him to give a video. Hello, Hello my name is Joe Catafago, and it's with uh, great joy that I introduce myself as the seminarian that's been assigned to St. Dominic's for the summer months of June and July. A little bit about myself is uh, it's, I'm from uh, Hicksville, uh, not too far away, and uh, grew up there, went to Holy Family School. Uh, Holy Family Parish. I ended up going to Holy Trinity High School. One of the things that I learned very early on, especially through being part of Holy Family, was that a parish is very much a family. And so I'm looking forward to the many ways that we can come together as the family, the parish of St. Dominic's, and how as we get past this time of pandemic and as we begin uh, these uh, this time of coming back together, uh, that we can come together as a community and that I can serve you the best that I can and together we can serve each other. So please know my prayers for you and if you get the chance, please say a few for me. God bless and I hope to see you soon. Hello Bayhawk Nation, this is Matt O'Brien, your athletic director. We are pleased to announce that on June 3rd, we held our virtual signing day for additional six student athletes to play at the collegiate level. This brings us to 13 student athletes playing at the next level. Congratulations to Teddy Brennan, who will be playing baseball and attending Salisbury Prep. Dylan Bruno, who will also be playing baseball at the IMG Academy. Christopher Caputo, who will be playing boys lacrosse at Pace University. Christopher Newman, who will be playing boys basketball at St. John Fisher. Mundeep Singh, who will be playing boys lacrosse at Colbo University, and Kobe Thomas, who will be playing boys basketball at SUNY Farmingdale. I'd also like to take the time to thank our coaches and their parents for everything that they have done for our school community and to achieve this wonderful level. Thank you and have a wonderful day. And maybe at this point before wrapping up, uh, to remind you of some of our latest reopening in addition to the 11.30 drive-in Mass, we have the chapel open every day for private prayer, the live stream Mass Saturdays at 5, streaming all Sunday. Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament has begun, uh, this time being held in the church on Wednesdays from 10 a.m., concluding with benediction at 2 p.m. And on Saturdays, drive-through confessions, uh, starting at 3 p.m., in that little driveway next to the chapel. 
And perhaps to wrap up this week with a look back at last week, uh, Pentecost Sunday, uh, which with the allowance of small ceremonies, uh, let us finally uh, baptize our parish catechumen, Azim Ali, at the Pentecost Livestream Mass. And the next day on Sunday, we could receive into full communion Joanna Belletti, uh, who was um, our candidate for full communion from another Christian faith. Uh, this allowed us to complete our Easter season by celebrating some of the Easter sacraments.